Well, it's Memorial Day weekend. Decided to come to one of my smallmouth bass hotspots for at least when they're spawning. This area is actually not the greatest fishing except for when they're spawning. If you time it right and they're bedding, it can be spectacular. The rest of the year is just okay, hit or miss. I'm hoping that I timed it right and uh, we'll get some some big smallmouth on or near their beds today. Not very many other people here, very few. Um, almost nobody fishing it looks like, so let's give it a try. If it doesn't work out, we'll, we'll go upstream to a much more beautiful spot um, as far as the scenery goes. This is more of a downtown area, so let's go out there and give it a shot. Water's a little bit up and a little bit murky from rain we've had over the last week, but not too bad, so. My hopes are high. Brought out the sport yak today instead of the kayak. And this particular river and this area is better for the electric motor than the 2.5 horse Suzuki. So I didn't bring the gas motor today. Although I do plan to get that gas motor out and make a video about that this weekend. See how fast it can push this little boat. So let's go give it a shot and getting a late start today it's 10:40, but i don't think that'll affect the fish fishing all that much if they're spawning so let's get up there love the wheels on this thing makes it very easy to launch just about anywhere not the quietest experience but i don't think that really matters and then we do have some grooves in the ramp here like many ramps do to let water slide out of there as you launch and unload your boats so going over those grooves is a little bit unpleasant here not a big deal I always wear my waterproof boots so I can walk in the water a little bit when I launch and it's that easy let's get out there and fish and we're off I'm gonna briefly try it down here by the dam even though I know that the hot spots are actually along the western shore over there underneath the overhanging trees that's where they make their beds but I'm here, I'm right by the dam, might as well give it a quick try before I head over to that western shoreline. Stunningly beautiful day, about 65 degrees this morning with a high of only 72. Bluebird, almost bluebird skies, got a little bit of cirrus clouds. Number one, big rock bass? Yeah. This can be really loaded with rock bass, which can be annoying sometimes. That's a big one, though. Boy, did he inhale it. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, that shake they do after you grab their lips. Crazy. Thank you, sir. There's a nice smallmouth off the rocks here. A bunch of rock piles here. On the Helgramite, of course. Natural colored, even though the water's kind of murky. Get your lip, buddy. There you go. Nice, chunky river smallmouth. Love it. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Flesh. There's another nice smallmouth, about two minutes after the last one. It's a jumper. Let's turn my motor off here. Guess I don't need the net for him. It's gonna be a good day, I can see that already. Got fish jumping all over the place, but those might be carp. Ooh, did he swallow it? Holy cow.
I'm gonna have to use the pliers for you. Thank you, sir. Got it out. Another chunky river smolly. Thank you, sir. There's another one. Oh yeah, nice fish. Yeah, I think they're definitely spawning or about to spawn. Oof, did he inhale it too? Looks like they're all kind of inhaling this thing today. Yeah, he did. Yeah, wow. Beautiful fish. Got it out. Thank you, sir. Whew. Fast and furious. I got the minnows here and something feeding on them and whatever it was broke my line. So I'm guessing pike or well, dogfish slash both in. So time to retie. I'm gonna go back to this color here. C04 natural, three inch Nico Helgramite. There's the color, what it looks like. Got a one tenth ounce Z-Man jig that, you know, same jig you would use on a traditional Ned rig. This can be very difficult to get on the hook. The rubber's so strong. There we go. Try to get it as straight as possible. Ta-da. Let's catch some more fish. Oh lordy. Got me into a big one now. Nice smallmouth. Gotta love fishing for these on this sport yak. It's nice to take a break from the kayak sometimes and stand up while fishing and use the motor instead of paddling. Looks like this one is definitely got some spawning marks on it. And this one definitely needs the net. Oh yeah, beautiful fish. Yeah, gotcha. Ooh. Wow, pretty fish. Let's get the bump board out for you. I can get it out. There we go. Hooked right in the top of the mouth. Oof, right in the bone. There we go. Nice fish. Okay. You are see here that is just about 16 inches yeah nice spawning mark on the tail thank you sir or ma'am well that was a fantastic start before I even got to the overhanging branches here which create shade and that's where most of the beds are so should pick up now, which is amazing because it's already been incredible fishing. There's one out from underneath the tree. Little one, feisty and fun. Right in the roof of the mouth. Thank you, sir. There's another one. Feels pretty good. Not using my usual ultralight rod and reel today because I'm, I'm anticipating some bigger spawning fish today and I don't wanna break my line or anything. So I'm using 
six foot six medium action rod today instead of my usual ultra light stuff. I got a pike on here. It's on flash. Yeah, there he goes. It's a nice pike. Uh oh, he's got his teeth on my line. I don't think I'm gonna land this guy. Oh, maybe not. I got him in the corner of the mouth. Woo hoo! It's a jumper. Let's get the net for this guy. Woo! Oh, that was amazing. Oh yeah. Gotcha, sir. in the corner of the mouth. Perfect for a pike. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Man, usually it's the red-winged blackbirds that are aggressive, but this looks like a starling or something that's dive-bombing my head. Agitated. Ooh, fighting with the red winged blackbirds now. Sheesh. This looks like a good spot behind this boat. But first, let's get a couple casts in these shadows here. Got a lot of big fish jumping out here. I think they're carp. There's a fish. Yep. Nice little smallmouth. Been a good day. Not as good as I thought as far as big bedding bass, but still a very good day. Can't complain at all. Thank you, sir. Whoa. Yeah, got one from underneath this tree. That was wild. I saw him come out and grab the Helgramite. Dark one. What a blast. A lot of fish this size today. Not the big mamas like I was hoping for, but I can't complain. The current's heavier here. There's one. Feels a little better. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Oh geez, I don't even know what it is. Is that a smallmouth? Or a uh, pike. Oh, big smolly. Finally. Yep. Oh. Big small mouth. Hey buddy. No. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> I got my GoPro running. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you though. Yeah, yeah nice fish. Gotta measure it. He is 16, 18 inches. Beautiful fish. Let's get the phone out real quick and take a quick picture. Biggest fish of the day by a couple of inches. Thank you, sir.
That one must have been in a bed and I landed right on his head. There's another fish. Not as big as I thought he was at first. He really hit it like a freight train. Thank you, sir. Well, heading back towards the launch now. It was a very good day, not a great day. One 16 inch smallmouth, one 18 inch smallmouth, a bunch of smaller smallmouths. Lost count of all the rock bass. One nice pike and that was it. Didn't get the monster smallmouth off the beds like I thought I was going to. So one of the reasons for that I think is my timing and the other reason is uh, time of day I arrived here. I slept in today and got here a little too late so. But it's been fantastic to be out here in this beautiful weather and such a gorgeous river. Thanks for watching.